All right, so gouache, usual brushes. Today I'll have also pencil. Yes, a simple color pencil. It might be useful in, in one of the stages. Yes, but it's not a must, uh, just as a tip. Um, we will learn today how to do very interesting gray color. So instead of using black, we will mix dark blue and brown. And then when you add white, you will get this gray color that we will use for the, for the bird. Although, of course, it's white, we still need to create some shadows. So, um, yes, this is a good, good mix to know. Yes, to avoid creating black, uh, like dirty places. So this is a good one. And we will be starting with, with this mix. Yeah, um, Little pinky, yes, for maybe some just kind of the the legs the the mouth of bird maybe something here in around green also very little just for the branch yes and then blue for sky and yellow for kind of sun yes or parts you can also choose other colors for your background yes that's not a must it's a yes feel free Choose right. So let's go with a sketch. So you see the bird is really big, yes, on our page. So don't make it too small, otherwise, it will be hard. So let's see, somewhere in the middle, yes, of kind of page, somewhere here. And here goes one part of the wing. And somewhere there goes the other, yes. So like this, I can kind of pre-sketch because what I want is to, yeah, to fit the bird inside um, the paper. Yes, then I'll try to position the head. Yes, and then right behind, let's say the nose of the bird, uh, the other wing is coming out. Yes, it, it's smaller, it's look, it looks smaller this yeah, second wing because it's more behind. Yes, and then we do the, the belly. Yes, give it also enough space. Don't make it too short. The belly and remember our usual exercise, how to check. For example, this point where the belly is ending and the legs are, then I can check it, let's say vertically and horizontally. So you see horizontally, it's where the wing is ending. Yeah, so somewhere like somewhere here. And vertically, it's probably kind of in the middle of the neck. Yeah, so this kind of helps me to do this point not too, not too high, yeah, not too short. And then something like a tail. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so once we did this general shape, then we can kind of go back and do, let's say, sit the eye, yeah, and then maybe do a bit more detailed the wing, yes. Also, maybe one part is a bit bigger, yes, one. And then maybe this upper one's a bit thinner. Yes, these ones 
at the bottom they have kind of shorter uh, separation. Yes. Nice. The white tongue. Yeah. And then bravely I put the, the black line that will be the the olive branch. Yes. And then I can mark a few, few green leaves. Yeah. Something like this. Yeah. Today will be, so I'm sure you remember this um, painting we did with the fishes, when we did all these curvy lines, and then we were looking fishes in it. So today again, we do the curvy lines, but we go the other way. So first we have the object, and then we use the shape of object to create all these interesting lines. Yes. So in this moment, if you want, yes, you can use, for example, color pencils, depending which color you're choosing. Or of course, you can you can stay with a simple pencil. Yes. Um, I will go with the marker because yeah, you can see better. So for example, yes, the easier one, let's say the wing. Yeah, the wing is curvy already. So I kind of just continue my wing and maybe some curvy line there. Yes. And maybe this second line again, maybe it's going around. Yes, maybe some. Some is shorter, maybe some is longer. Yes, for example. Then what I can also do this line of the head. This can also can kind of go joining, yes? So just continuing. And so just freely, you find some line, some direction of of what you already have within the bird, yes? So these upper ones, of course, there is not much space, but still we can, we can invent something there too, yeah? So we use the lines of our bird, of our dove, yes, to continue. With some, with some lines. And the bottom, exactly the same. We can start with the tail. Yes, because it's kind of what the first thing we have. And we can go doing some curvy lines. Yes. They can be very different. Yes, if you want, you can make them uh, let's say longer and the like one curvy roll, yes, in the end, or you can go like the curvy and going back. It's, it's like really should be without worries, just a loose, loose line, how it goes, how your hand is flowing. Huh? Yes, and of course, later with the paint, we can correct in case if yeah, something maybe not. Yeah, if, if, if you miss some lines, we will we can add later more. Yeah, so with bird, of course, is nice because it has wings. So then we have these all different directions that we can go. Yeah.
Yes. Ah, I see Juliet you already. Yes, Juliet is always quick. Um, so, uh, what about Ellie? Yeah. I'm not ready yet. Oh. All right, no worries. Yeah, let's give Ellie um, some minutes. Yes, so Juliet, it will be dark blue and brown. Yeah, so you can take a look, uh, prepare, yes, but a very little drop, yes, so because imagine from these two dark colors, you have to get this very um, light gray, yes, so it means just very little and then there will be more, more white in it. Yeah? With the um, with time, you learn um, the amount of paint, yes, that you need. Uh, it, it comes just um, just with practice. Okay. Okay, so here I put. Yeah, so they they are dark, of course, both in the on the screen, but. Yes, one is brown and one is dark. Okay, so, um, yeah, just, um, yeah, no rush. Slowly we'll prepare the mix. And here, so I get with my brush, let's say like this, you see, just on the brush a little bit. And that's enough. This will be enough because the mix is is dark yeah so and in this case it's more or less 50 50 so the same amount of blue and the same amount of brown yes you already know that sometimes in some mixes one color is more the other one is less but here here, so these two, and I can just start mixing them in between and just take a look. If it feels you have, you know, it feels more brownish, you can add a bit more blue. If it still feels a bit bluish, so I think I'll need a bit more blue in my case, but it's just a feeling a little bit. Huh? And after that, wash very good your brush. So here I did this mix. Yes. Because now I will need to add white. So I'm washing, yeah, washing my brush. Very good, very good. All the, yes. And then I also wipe my brush because with dark colors, yes, there is always something left there with, where the metal thing is. Yeah, so I'm wiping my brush, now it's clean. And now I can get into the white and remember that, so I don't go inside of my mix, but I put it next to it. And now I'm slowly kind of getting into the mix. You see? And I have created some, yeah, it looks, so the color you should get, it's kind of nice gray color, yes. And for example, if it's still too dark, then again, I wash my brush, I wash it, I wash it. I want it clean. Yes, I wipe it if it's needed, just with the paper towel. And again, I add white, but now already in this lightened mix. And again, not in the middle, but always kind of from the border. So like this, I have, I continue having 
So now I have three, three mixes. I have really dark and then I have nice gray and then I have very light. Yes, but still it's not white, it's light, light gray. Yeah, so with this one, we will start to do our dove. Yes. And yeah, let's let's analyze first. So you remember why why we need this to do the to put gray. Yes, let's say, but dove is white. Yes, the dove is really white, but to show that it has shape, yes, we need to put these shadows because like this, we're gonna feel it's it's not yeah, flat, it, it has volume. So let's analyze. So we have here under the neck and kind of, yes, half of the belly here with this, with this shadow and it shows them this, uh, the body part. A little bit on top of the head, a little bit here under the tail, and of course here under the wing. Yeah? So this will be our shadows. Oh, nice, Eric is joining. Hi. Hi, hi, Eric. Yeah, uh, join in. Yes, I will. So, yeah, I will put back the sketch we did. Yeah, so you can see and then maybe you can quickly um, yeah, catch up. Oh, one minute. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, we, we continue girls and Eric when when he will have some doubts, then he will ask. Yes. So I started, let's say, with my lightest mix because then I'm staying kind of on a safe side. Yes, then I can darken up always. Yes? So I'm taking my light and mix and where I go. Let's go. I can go everywhere where I see the shadow. So here under the wing. Yes. And here maybe not till the end of. So kind of the tips, the ends of the wings I leave white. Yes. And here with the big big wind wing, I do kind of like also lines, yes, a bit following this. All right, Eric making making noise. I will mute for a while. Eric, when, once you have questions, then just ask. Yeah. So and here, then um, so where the tail is, yes, also a little bit of shadow. Then also where the legs are, there is also kind of separation between the tail and the belly. And as we've spoken, yes, the belly goes in um in this curvy way. Yes. So there is a bit more dark on the outside part of the belly. And then it goes lighter, lighter, lighter till the middle. Huh? Then where else? Under the nose also a bit, under his mouth. Yeah. And then also on top of the head also a bit, but this is already like very light. Yeah, and we can, let's say, let it dry a bit. And then later we come back and Yes, can do the retouching. Yeah, where if somewhere else it feels that it's needed to be a bit more.
Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is kind of. Yes. So try not to make it too dark. In case, yes, it becomes maybe too bluish, too too grayish. Later we can always go on top. Once it's dry, we can go on top with white paint and it will lighten up. Yes. So with with acrylic paints, with gouache, yes, it it can work like this. Yeah? But still, of course, we try to keep it white because the bird is white, but we create this with shadows. So on the other wing as well, but maybe just a little bit here on on the bottom. Yes, because it feels like the the other wing is kind of all in the light. So we can just hear kind of the lower part of it. Yes, we can mark something some a little bit. Yeah? Maybe just a few stripes on top. Yeah, and, and let's see the dry. Um, what else I can do? In my black mix, as you see, we have much more black mix left. Yes, and um, then I can go with my tiny brush and maybe go create an eye. I'm doing just a circle and somewhere in the circle, maybe I can leave a little white spot. Yeah, so of course with eye, it's good to, to put it then at once you kind of feel a bit the shape, yeah, the eye gives the feeling. Yeah, I try create like thin lines for the mouth. And now I went kind of it, I got one line too big. But I can always either with the paper towel, yeah, if I'm quick, I can remove it. Yes, because it's just like little line, like an accent. Yes, I don't want to make mouth too black. And what I can also do the, the branch. Yeah. Yeah, and no worries if our mix is kind of bluish. Yeah, it's enough that it's dark. And yeah, then. So here, when I prepared my. If you feel good with a thin brush, yes. What you can do, you can make it really a bit more wet, so it's easier. And you can go with little like line accents, but like more feeling like if it's a pencil, you know? So maybe where the, here the legs are, you know, here it is a bit. Yes, but what I do, I put there this a bit darker like an accent. And if it's too dark, then I quickly wash my brush and with clean brush, clean and watery brush, I kind of blur it out. Yeah, or, but can put, it, it's like accents. Yeah, so where, for example, here the wing is turning. Yes, like where the, the body changes are. Yes, but then again, not too dark, and then I just kind of blur out. Yeah, this is this is already probably running too too ahead. Yeah, this is again it's more already detailed work. Yeah, but if you feel safe, you can do it. Yeah. So still. Yes, you might feel that the bird is not very visible yet. And we will make it visible with the bright background. So once we put all these bright lines around the white wings, yes, then our bird 
will show uh, yeah so th this is the the technique the trick yes I take green color yes just very little you, you see we don't have it anywhere else but where this olive branch is and I put just a few yeah thin thin leaves yeah so the olive branch leaves they look like long and slim that's something like this Girls, how are we doing? Am I rushing too much? Um, okay. Okay, you know, you tell me, yes, if, if you... I think I need to catch up one little, but I made some of the parts too gray, so I need to whiten them. Okay, yes, so I will stop now, I will wait. Yes, for lightening, it's, it's essential that it's dry. Yeah, so you might even want kind of just do the green part or some other part and then come back to the lightening if it's still, yeah, it's, it's easy also to, to notice, yes, because you take the brush. So I will try to lighten up also something together with you, yes. So if it's not dry, it will simply not work. Yes, this is how you kind of know. Yes, and but uh, yeah, acrylics gouache are quickly to dry. So yeah, and then of course it's essential to have your brush clean. Yeah, and then just on top. And in this case, I also use kind of dry brush. Yes, so not much water. And then it then it leaves nicely. Yes, because for covering you need more amount, let's say. Yeah. So here I tried covering and it works nicely. Okay. Some parts may be enough, even just you know, get the tone lower. Yeah, so not making it completely white, but simply um, yeah, just go a little bit. One part lighter. Mm -hmm. Eric, did you manage catch up? You, I see. Yeah, I'm painting. I just didn't do the swirls. Yes. That's it. I just drew a sketch of a bird. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, yeah this this cur curvy stuff is. You can do it, also free without pre sketching. You can even skip it. Yes, you can do just, let's say, the background. Yeah, but as, I'm not sure if you were here when I was talking. It's a little bit like we did with, remember with this fish? When we did. I, I wasn't there. It mm, was... Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's just the opposite. So there we did curvy lines. And we try to find the object in it. And here, the opposite, we have the object, the bird, and then we use the lines of the bird to create some, yes, background lines. And bird is nice in this case because, of course, all the wings, yes, it's so it just. Um, um, I have a little, little tiny bit of pink. I added a little bit to the to the nose, just a little bit, and to the to the legs. Yeah, if it got maybe too pinky, I can use this my mix. Yeah, just to and don't really try to paint. Yes, his legs is just kind of just some stripes. Yes, it's yeah. 
and the nose as well it's even you can leave some part just white clean paper uh, so not and I did already also too much for our bird. Yes, and once it's dry, I can also, let's say, play a little bit with the belly, trying to make it more, the feeling that it's more circular. Yeah? So it means this, this shadow, it should go more smoothly from light to dark. Yeah, I think we did it once this exercise with this orange, with the tangerine. Um, as the how you show this spheric, yeah, oval round round things. Yeah. So this was the complicated part. Yeah, the rest should be easier and more fun. Yeah, creating the creating the background. And so choose your colors. Uh, can be different ones, yeah? not necessarily blue and yellow. Um, and not also so necessary like half and half. You can go and different mixes. Uh, so this is the part of your free, free space to, to experiment. Yeah. But um, so what we will do first. So let's say you have your two colors. First, we will go with the lines, just approximately. And then we will kind of fill in the empty space between these lines. Yeah, and then we will start already working on to yeah, to have it more kind of. So I have my blue and I have the yellow. Like this. And I go with a with thin brush. Yes, and no worries, the lines don't have to go, you know, like perfectly, all the lines should go with the color. No, it can, the line can, can stop somewhere. Yeah, somewhere it can be thinner. So just approximately, I try to just go around. Yeah, so where are them? The wings are where the ending, feel free to make kind of darker there. Yes, from the start or later, we will have to anyway to darken up there. Because this is how we will make yeah, our bird to stand out on the paper. Hmm? Yes, and again, the secret to getting the lines is keeping your brush wet. And I kind of often go back to fill in the paint almost after each line that I put, I go back for more paint. Yes, and it's, and it's wet. Mm 
So at this moment, just lines, yeah, the, the way they go, and yeah, then later we will work on this. So if you go with two colors, one up, one down, still, I bring some blue to the bottom, to the under the bird, and I will be bringing some yellow up. Yeah, so it will be not the division like very blue only on top, yellow only on the bottom. Yeah, I will have a little bit blue also here joining the yellow, but I will have like, let's say, yes, more yellow at the bottom. <clears throat> yeah, so I did these few lines. And now I can wash my brush and let's say change for the yellow. So remember also about the mix between the colors. Yes, yeah, so in my case, I will start getting somewhere green because the mix of yellow and blue gives green. So then you have to think. If you're okay with it, you just you know let it go and it's mixing somewhere. If you don't want the green, then you either wait till your blue is dry, or better, you kind of avoid yes, touching with yellow where you have the blue. And again, I keep my brush wet and I constantly come back to fill in more paint. This is how I create thin lines, yeah? <clears throat> because the, the paint is over very quickly. I put one line and then I have to go back. Yeah, so I'm dipping constantly. One movement to the water, one movement to fill in the paint and come back. And then I can also go on top, do some yellow lines on top. Yeah, so then it looks more kind of integrated. These, these two colors. Yeah. You can also change the brush. Let's say if you did um, yeah, some lines with the with your thin brush, maybe you want to change and do some lines that are more thick, yeah, with another brush, why not? So then they look a bit more, um, yeah, different. Yes, and we will give, a little time uh, for it to dry. And what we're gonna go do, so we go for some white and just with the same blue, with the same yellow, create a lighter tone. And then with the bigger brush, we're just gonna go and fill in the white spots between the lines, yes? This is very common, let's say, technique that I use. And it's nice because, yes, you create some shapes, yeah, but then 
instead of also going very little in between the lines, then I just create a bit, it's watery. Yes, so it's kind of, it's, it's transparent because it has lots of water and it's lighter because it has white. Yes, and like this, my lines are, they stay. Yes, yeah, so the ones I have here, they don't disappear, even if I go over them. Yes, and, and here, for example, don't be lazy to create even lighter mix. Let's say I've added here white mixed, but it still feels, you know, a bit dark blue. So it means I go separately again clean brush, clean white pile, and then just some part of this blue. Yes, because I'm really looking forward to have the mix that won't disturb, yes? And then, okay, I've created so light that it's probably not even visible. Yes, but what I can do then I can go here around, so I don't touch the bird, of course, the bird stays white, but all the rest, I kind of go over. Yes, and because later then I can continue painting on this light layer. But I have kind of quickly removing the white, the white paper. No? Yes, and of course with the with the bottom part I will do the same but using yellow color yes mixing it with um, with white so again here I can go with this a little bit blue background also at the bottom. Yeah, let's say like one flow flowing into another. Yeah. And do you remember, feel free to go darker around the bird. Yes. So for our white bird yeah, to become kind of really white and visible. We need to create darker background around it. And the same story with yellow. I'm adding white. Then I'm adding water. And just kind of go all over. Huh? So, so the lines that I've put in the start, they stay. You can ask. Why, why didn't we go, let's say the opposite? First, we just color all light blue and all light yellow. And on top we go with the, um, then with the lines. Uh, in theory, of course, you can do this, yes. Um, it's also like normal, you just kind of cover all your paper with some background color. 
but it, sometimes it's easier to do the lines, let's say the specific lines that we want, like uh, yeah, like the bird or the curvy lines when we have white paper. Because maybe if we cover white paper with the with some color, then our lines might go not so precise as we want. Huh? But there is no one rule. There is always your, your way, your experiment. One might feel more comfortable like this. Yes, the other painter will say, no, 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 no. The other way works better. So in art, it's all pure experiment. And then just deciding what works for you. Yes, which which way is nice. Yeah. So here I imagine again hard for you to see. It's all too very, very light. But I have now all my paper covered. I have no white a part of the bird. Yeah. So at the bird. Okay. Yeah, I have some something um, some white paper left but Um, when I was doing, yes, this first painting, uh, I've realized that actually using a little bit of purple works nice. Yes, if you especially you use kind of light purple, it actually matches very nicely gray color. So also to create a little bit shadow darker parts around my uh, bird i will use this this purplish grayish color yes it means so we we create purple by mixing uh, red and blue but also pink and light blue is very nice Yes, then your purple will be more beautiful, actually. It will be kind of lighter. The, the intensity will be nicer. Yes, because when you mix red and let's say dark blue, sometimes it looks even almost black. Yes, so dark. But since uh, pink and light blue are already, these, these paints are lightened from the start, then the mix is nice. And even in this mix, I will add white. Yeah, so, and, and again, you know, so you've created the mix, let's say you've created purple, looks nice. I add white, I don't add it in the middle of my mix. I add it on the side and like this I get, two mixes that I could use. And I can use the dark, the intense purple, and I can use the, the light purple, yes? So this is kind of something that your hand already should, um, yeah, when, when you mix paints, that's, that's the way you, you know you do. So, and I can play, let's say, with light purple mix. Maybe I go here somewhere around, Yellow, maybe. Now it's really the the feeling how how it feels for you to to uh, yeah, to have this background. You can have it also very like minimalistic, maybe just few lines. Yes, and 
And now I take a bit, so this darker purple, and I put it again somewhere closer to the bird. So then I have, yes, the, the accent, my bird then, then shows. Maybe you want to use just pure pink as well. Yes, and maybe pink also add a bit white, then it becomes a bit lighter. And then, for example, now I also play around with my brush being dry. Yeah, so you remember these typical two ways we use the brush, either wet, either dry. And dry, yes, it's kind of halfway not painting. And exactly this, this is what I'm using because then I don't get very thick yeah, lines. It's I'm like cruising around with my brush and somewhere it's leaving paint and somewhere it's not. Yeah, so this is. Uh, Jenya. Tell me, Eric, how is it going? Uh, it's going good, but uh, do you know the way how I always say that Wednesday is a crazy day? <laughs> oh, I've missed your stories, Eric. Tell us. <laughs> uh, so um, today was my last day of school before I have a break for St. Patrick's Day. All right. And there's this one person who always does the messing, and mm -hmm. he wants and nothing happened today. All right. So for once you were right and Wednesday isn't a crazy day. But there was one thing that happened, but I wouldn't really call it crazy. Yeah. Um, so today I had like Gaelic training, the Gaelic football. Yes, yes. Um and we had to be like attacker, uh, like attackers and defenders. So someone had to uh, take the ball and just pass it back to our, like, coach who's mm -hmm. training us. Yeah. And then the other one uh, had to, like, hit a target. Um, so I was defending. Yes. So I had to pass it back to my coach. Mm -hmm. And my friend, he was attacking. So I got the ball, and I was told I was being too gentle, so <laughs> I should start, like, pulling on his jumper and all, because you're allowed to do that. Oh, my God. Pull his jumper, and then I and then they tell uh, and then they tell me to be more aggressive. So I shoulder him to the ground. <gasps> no, come on! I can't oh. believe it. The school tells you to be more aggressive. No, it's because I was just being too nice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, he was okay. <laughs> I see. Because you usually play it on grass. Yes. So, but we did it on concrete. Oof. Yeah. He didn't have any cuts. He just like fell. All right, all right. Wow. Yeah. And so how how it's decided who wins the game? 
Oh no, that was just training. So. Training. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see. Then I finally decided to play football at school because I don't really like school football mm -hmm. because I thought it was unfair. So we had like, uh, like we could do like sport and all, and you could and you could choose like football or like another game. I forgot what it was, and um, so I chose football because I just wanted to try something new. Yes. And uh, I scored a goal and we ended up winning. Oh, nice one. So your first game and you were the one to yeah, win. Yeah, not bad. Two yeah. one, two one to us. <laughs> so um a little tip about the drawing. So imagine you you've been cruising around a lot with, with the lines, and then it's always good then kind of come back and let's say here I've taken just pure blue and making some accents like very intense yeah so instead if it's all kind of just one tone then you come back and and do you know some just brave dark yeah, lines but again maybe not everywhere maybe just where the wings are or yeah it's it's and like this, we, we build up. So we we have, you know, like light layer there and we have then also, uh, yeah, all this layer that we've, we've built now. And then with this kind of extra lines, it's, it's called like making accents. So once, once you did your drawing, you, you review it and you come back retouching some parts so for them to look more um, yeah, attractive. So not everything on your painting, but some. Then uh, in school, we finally did something fun. Uh, since it was like St. Patrick like week, like it was Irish week, mm -hmm. uh, we got to, during the week we got to switch teachers for half an hour or like forty five minutes. Oh, and they, would, and they would teach us something to do it, like Ireland. <laughs> so on Monday, uh, a teacher taught us like a little bit of Irish dancing. Yeah, it was, like, easy Irish dance because <laughs> Irish dancing is actually really hard. Yeah. Then um, yesterday, um, we played like bingo, but in Irish, and we had like Irish, like things to do with uh, Ireland. Mm -hmm. And then uh, today, uh, it was the last day, so we didn't switch teachers, but only fifth and sixth, like the classes, Yes. Um, they got to do a quiz, but it had to be in Irish. Wow. And... So the questions, uh, since I'm in fifth, mm -hmm. um, it'd be like seventh year, I guess. Uh -huh. um, yes. Uh, we ha we had to do it, and the questions would be in Irish, and mm -hmm. then they would translate it once into English. Yeah. Write yeah. the answers in English in Irish. I see. And you got a random number, and. Then you're put into a group. All right. And I don't know who won, like who got the most points, because I had to go for the bus, because I take the bus home. All right. Mm. Yeah. I see. So sounds fun. Yeah. The, the pre. So, for example, for my yellow part, what I did, I also took the, um, the darker yellow. Yeah, so it's usually, let's say, Ochr, or can be Siena. And I also did some uh, darker lines. And now, let's say, I can go back to, to, to normal yellow and then can also play around and, yeah. So it's just 
and of giving time to these lines, work, work your way up. Yes, you started with, with some, and then, um, yeah, till, till you like it, till it feels nice. It doesn't mean you have to do it very, very dark. Yes, it's just, um, Yes. If it feels too, you can come back also to Dove, maybe to put some, um, yeah, also darken up a little bit something inside, just in case, you know, it might be a Dove became too light. So it's also, I can. Okay, uh, I'm finished. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. Yeah, you're very excited to see. I didn't add in the purple. Yeah. Because my paint is dry, so it would have just mixed. Okay, okay. Yeah, the girls, let's say, wait, 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 Ellie again, Juliet, sorry. <gasps> yeah, look. Such a nice lines. You know what you can do? Once it's um, like more dry, you can go over with white for the dove, you know, um, to like just some parts make it like pure white again, maybe like the ends of the wings. Yeah, so yeah, if you want, it's just a, um, just advice. Yeah, like, but the, the lines, the yellow lines below looks very awesome. All right, I can hear my phone. Must be Eric. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> Your dove is not white, Eric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like more like oval. But uh, but it looks fine and. I like the your your uh, blue and yellow. It looks like a sky and thunder. Yeah. You know, um, it, I like it. I like very much drawing. It, it doesn't. It's it has some um, some nice expression uh, in it. Uh, um, yeah. Then again, the same advice. If you want, once. It all is dry, it will work putting white paint on top, like the wings. But in every case, it feels like they, I wouldn't. Yeah, it's, um, it's fun. Thank you. 
Very nice. How do you like your drawing, Juliet? Yeah, very good. Thumbs up. Very nice. Any any wishes for the for the next time? Uh, could I be able to choose actually because I yes. have to. You are right, Eric. All right, Eric, choice. Yes, I still remember all the blue rules, but they're very complicated. But if you insist, we can try them. No, I was thinking not that, but I was thinking something to do with the beach, like draw something with the beach. Mm -hmm. I think I sent you a picture before of a drawing. Uh, let me find it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, there. Right, let's ah uh, yes, yes, yes. I remember this image. And I remember I actually also tried to do something similar. Um something there. But yes, let's do this one. Why not? The the abstract art beach. Looks looks interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. All right, so we'll take the tape off. Our dog for the piece. I will stop recording.